Welcome back, horror family. Leave it to Stephen King to take something of beauty as a 1958 Plymouth Fury, then turn it into a monster of evil. And only the master John Carpenter was able to bring that vision to the big screen, melding a duo of macabre proportions. The 1983 film Christine follows awkward teenager Arnie who discovers a beaten up Plymouth and immediately falls in love. We watch as he rebuilds the car to its full glory, which gives him confidence to get everything he desires in life. But his loved ones see that the infatuation he holds for the vehicle becomes an obsession with malevolent consequences. What was Christine? Was she simply an evil piece of machinery that became affixed with this down-on-his-luck teenager? Or was there a darker, more demonic essence behind the rage that lay beneath the Red Hood? I have a theory that Christine was a succubus. A succubus is a demon or supernatural entity that appears in dreams and takes the form of a woman in order to seduce men. Originating in the 14th century, succubus is derived from late Latin succuba, meaning paramour, or from succubare, to lie beneath. It is told that repeated contact with the succubus may result in the deterioration of health or mental state, resulting in death. As depicted in the Jewish work Zohar and medieval rabbinical text alphabet Ben Sirah, the first succubus was Lilith. Adam's first wife, but after having relations with the archangel Samael, she refused to return to the Garden of Eden. In the same text, God formed Lilith out of the same clay from which he made Adam. Adam demanded she lay beneath him, but she refused to submit because they were created equal. According to Soharis Kabbalah, a school of thought in Jewish mysticism, Samael is said to be both of good and evil, and associated with the angel of death. By Christian teachings and demonology, Samael is a patron of the sinful Roman Empire and considered a fallen angel, the chief of all evil spirits in hell. There are said to be four original queens of the demons who mated with Samael, Lilith, Aisheth, Agrat Bat Malat, and Nama. What if the evil that lay inside Christine was that of Lilith, a vengeful entity from Genesis, sworn to enfold men in the subservient manner that she was demanded by Adam? We see in old folklore and mythology that succubus were generally attractive women, but attraction does not necessarily have to be sexual in nature due to physical attributes, but beauty is seen in all various forms, especially in cars, which men often bestow female names and personalities. It is possible that a modern day succubus would tempt a male quarry in the shape of an irresistible car, with the unspoken promise of popularity, confidence, and protection from harm. There was an obvious uncanny bond between Arnie and Christine, exhibiting definitive succubus traits to protect itself as well as thwart any attempts by others to distract its male victim's attention. We see this when Dennis dug deeper into the history of Christine's previous owner and he suffered a career-ending injury at a football game which Christine was present. Or when Lee begins to choke on a hamburger at the drive-in and the door is mysteriously locked with Arnie unable to get inside to help her. Incidents with logical explanations that mysteriously happened to the two people closest to Arnie was it an act of coincidence or by design. Also near the end of the film, the look of Arnie's blank, dead stare as he sits behind the wheel of Christine as she tries to kill Dennis and Lee after their failed attempt to destroy her. It is only after Arnie is killed that they are capable of rolling her over with the bulldozer. I theorize it is because she does not have her paramour to draw energy from, preventing her ability to fully regenerate as we saw earlier in the film. This is why I think when she was first vandalized by Buddy, we see the fast degradation of Arnie's personality, becoming consumed with Christine and the rage he felt at the sight of her in disrepair was the influence from the demon inside, drawing upon him in order to rebuild itself, bringing Arnie deeper into its grasp. What was inside the classic 58 Plymouth Fury cannot be simply explained by bad wiring and faulty transmission. Whether it was a conduit of some kind or a primordial temptress who turned her back on Eden, it is safe to say that no man is safe from the drawing effect and tempting beauty of her white and red gleam. This redhead may not necessarily be made of flesh and bone, but her seductive nature is just as powerful on the minds of men and once you sit behind her wheel and grab hold, you are entranced by her fatal kiss. What do you think was behind the evil power of Christine? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Stay scared.